what's going on guys welcome to my first workout vlog man so this is my shoulder and back routine that is a part of my nightwing routine inside the inbound attraction blueprint program so right here i am doing standing barbell overhead press i'm doing 150 pounds for six reps and i've already cooked from doing that 185 standing barbell press i just did that just because I was feeling good. I have my little brother filming this vlog, so shout out to him, bro. Thank you for all your your help. And I just wanted to show him what's up, you know, let him know like, hey, your big bro, he has a little bit of strength, you know what I'm saying? But now I was just feeling it and I wanted to go for it. So I just got done doing 135 pounds for eight reps. Now we're going to finish off the standing barbell overhead press with 120 pounds for 10 reps so i'm only doing three sets of standing barbell press and i start with my heaviest set and then i decrease the weight by 10 percent but then i increase the reps so going ahead and i'm knocking out 120 pounds and then now we're moving on to weighted chin-ups so weighted chin-ups are my favorite exercise when it comes to really building up your back so right here i'm just doing six reps for 72.5 pounds and kind of struggling a little bit just because i'm cooked from the overhead press but that's no excuse so then moving on to 52.5 pounds for eight reps and just going for it man and and pardon the vertical view i should have corrected my brother and had him change it to the horizontal view and that's my bad not his so now we finally fixed it but you know he kind of didn't get all of me in the shot but it's all good right at least i have him filming me so i appreciate that so this is my last set and i do three sets for weighted chin-ups as well and i decrease the weight by 10 percent and i'm knocking out 32.5 pounds for 10 reps and like i said this is just a really good way to just blow up your back and it's personally my favorite back exercise so now we're moving on to the dumbbell hammer curl so i'm doing 55 pounds for six reps and my arms aren't the biggest by any means so i really do my best to you know go a little bit heavier when it comes to the curls just because I do want to try to blow up my arms to the best of my ability now at this point i'm just maintaining right i'm not cutting i'm not bulking and this nightwing routine it's more so for people that want to either lean bulk or they just want to maintain and they want to you know have more volume of workouts so with the nightwing routine i only work out three times a week and then with the playboy workout routine that's only a two day a week workout program and that just allows me to be able to spend the time you know doing martial arts dating focusing on business etc so i believe i just got done doing 50 pounds for eight reps now we're moving on to the 45 pound dumbbells and just going for it man feeling good at this point i know i'm cooked right but we're chugging along man i love doing the dumbbell hammer curls especially when you're going heavy you just you feel powerful man so I believe this is the 45 pound dumbbells for 10 reps and we're going ahead and we're knocking it out man we're moving and we're grooving so almost there there we go boom so then now we're moving on to the 40 pounds so 40 pounds for 10 reps right just you know knocking these boys out man and you can start to see that my arms are they're getting some pumps up in there man you know you see the bicep veins coming through right the vascularity is really coming through with the forearms man and and this is what it's all about when it comes to building your body up man like as you start to pack on lean muscle mass as you start to get stronger you're going to just look so much better right your physique is just going to stand out from 99 percent of men especially when you're lifting heavy bro because you know muscle it is a byproduct of strength so as you start to lift heavier over a period of time your body's gonna simply look like you lift heavy you know what i'm saying so right here i just decided to do two extra sets of dumbbell hammer curls but i went a little bit lighter on the weight so right here i'm doing 30 pounds and i think i went for 20 reps on here and this is more so just you know going to failure basically i just really wanted to get an arm pump I sometimes just get in the moods where I'm like, you know what? I just want to go crazy with curls and just see, 
you know, how many reps I can, you know, just go for and just really blow my arms up, right? Because, you know, this is part of the Nightwing routine, man. And, and Nightwing, he has that lean, strong, you know, aesthetic physique, man. But he also has quite a bit of size to him. And Nightwing is one of my favorite comic book characters, if it's not already obvious. And I've always wanted to have that type of physique ever since I was, you know, little. And, you know, I'd read the comic books, play with the action figures and stuff. I'm a big comic book nerd. And by the way, I think I said this earlier on in the video, but Nightwing is the best Robin ever. So that's not up for a debate. I will say Tim Drake is a close second, but if you guys want to debate that with me in the comments, feel free to, to do so. But you know I'm right. Nightwing is the best Robin, aka Dick Grayson. So we're going ahead and doing the dumbbell lateral raises. So we just got done knocking out the last set of dumbbell hammer curls for 25 pounds, going for 25 reps on that last one, really just getting you know that pump in the biceps. So when it comes to lateral raises, I like to do lateral raises as far as a second exercise you know after you know standing overhead press or like seated shoulder press lateral raises are my favorite exercise when it comes to more so adding more of that round bolder shoulder look to your shoulders if that makes sense and just overall making your shoulders look more you know 3d right and really blowing them up and really you know captivating that v-shaped physique as far as having those broad shoulders go lateral raises i have found are the second best way of doing that as far as just really the lateral raises are like the 20 percent to the 80 percent gains that you get from doing you know standing barbell overhead press seated dumbbell shoulder press uh seated arnold presses you know exercise like that i believe that lateral raises really give you that extra 20 percent to really make your shoulders look broad round and 3d right so with lateral raises i go for 15 reps for my first set and i stayed at a light weight so i did 20 reps and then i do three more sets staying at the same weight for six reps and then i do 10 second rests in between 10 to 15 second rest in between and i'm just going for more volume and just really chasing that pump to really make my shoulders just look a lot bigger a lot more round and just look good overall so you see me flexing on my brother like that now we're moving on to tricep rope pull down so i did 100 pounds for 11 reps on this first set i believe we only did four sets for tricep rope pull downs and i don't do triceps on my uh, shoulder and back workouts when it comes to the nightwing routine my brother wanted to do the tricep rope pull downs and i was like you know what my arms are looking pretty good they're blowing up you know i had a pretty good pump going from really going hard with those dumbbell hammer curls and then i also got some indirect work when it came to my triceps when I was doing the standing barbell overhead press so i was like you know what bro if you want to do the tricep rope pull downs and do some more isolation work i got you so and i honestly think that triceps are one of the areas that i need to improve on when it comes to my upper body aesthetics and once i do get in a phase where i want to lean bulk again i'm definitely going to focus on adding some more size to the triceps but as we are doing the 80 pounds for 12 reps here, my arms are looking pretty massive, man. You know, in a humble way of speaking, of course. They're not massive by any means, but they definitely look pretty good just because of the pump from the dumbbell hammer curls. Now with the tricep rope pull downs and doing some more isolation work on the triceps, they're looking pretty good, man. I can't lie. And I don't even think I was trying to go for 12 reps uh, originally. I think I was just trying to do as many as I possibly could just until my brother got onto the other side of my body and got just a good view of me doing the tricep rope pull downs and just trying to get some good angles for you guys in regards to the vlog, which I'm hyped to do this, man. You know, I've, you know, grown up watching other fitness influencers doing their vlogs and stuff like that and I always thought that they were dope so it's pretty cool that I'm doing my own so that was the last set for the tricep rope pull downs now we're doing seated cable rows and I'm doing 110 pounds for 12 reps so I would say seated cable rows personally for me 
are my favorite isolation exercise when it comes to really building up your back as far as just more density in your back. So I'm really doing my best to practice good form. I think I could improve more on my form with the seated cable rows, especially at this point because my arms were, you know, they were pretty cooked. Not trying to give excuses or anything like that. That's It's not an excuse at all. But I think I just went a little bit too hard earlier on in this workout. So I think my form could have been a little bit better with these. But again, I'm doing the best that I can with, you know, just the energy and the strength that I still have at this point of the workout. We're doing 100 pounds for, I believe this is 11 reps or 12 reps. Um, but I was just really trying to do as many as I could until my brother got to the other side of me. So that's why I was doing more reps than I probably should have been doing. And then this is the third and final set of the seated cable rows for 12 reps. And I was really trying to do my best with this last set since this is my lightest set to really squeeze when I would bring in the cable and really just make sure I'm isolating my back very well and just practicing good form. So guys, this was the Nightwing shoulder and back workout routine. I hope you enjoyed this vlog so far. All right, boys. So we just finished the shoulder and back workout that is a part of the Nightwing routine inside the Inbound Traction Blueprint program where I'm helping men build that lean, aesthetic, masculine, strong, V-shaped physique. I think I'm looking pretty solid. I know you guys are gonna ask me for my stats. I think I'm hovering like around 165 to 167. Haven't weighed myself yet. Um, all I've had this morning, or today rather, has just been coffee. So I haven't had any food or anything like that. Feeling pretty strong, man. I think I'm looking pretty good, pretty solid. You know, overall, had a really good workout. But yeah, I'm around 165, 167. And then I'm 5'10". For all you guys that think it's all about being six foot plus to get women, I'm 5'10". And I'm doing pretty well, man. And if you don't have the height, get the body, man. You have more control over that than your height anyway. So let me know what you guys thought about the workout vlog. And if you guys want to get in the best shape of your life, and if you want to work with me exclusively one-to-one -one for the next 90 days, I am running a five-man case study group where they will be able to work with me closely one-to-one -one for the next 90 days so that they can get in the best shape of their life. And when you enroll inside the Inbound Attraction Blueprint program, you're gonna automatically get access to me as your one-to-one -one coach for the next 90 days. However, since I am only working with five men, two spots have been filled up, which means that there are only three spots left. So if you wanna secure one of those spots, if you wanna get access to the Inbound Attraction Blueprint program, where not only will I show you how to become the most handsome and attractive version of yourself, have women, beautiful, attractive women coming to you on autopilot, but you also wanna get in the best shape of your life in the next 90 days with my one-to-one -one help, all you have to do is enroll inside the Inbound Traction Blueprint program. Link will be down below in the description. Once you do, message me at McLeod Maxing on Instagram. DM me the number five on Instagram, and then that means that you get access to the one-to-one -one coaching. So again, there's only three spots left. Go ahead and enroll inside the Inbound Traction Blueprint program. Message me the number five, and then we'll be working together for the next 90 days, man. So we're gonna get you strong, masculine, aesthetic to the point where these women can't keep their hands off you man so guys i appreciate you watching the video i hope you guys got a lot of value from the vlog hope it was entertaining and with that being said i'll see you in the next one you guys take it easy